A very warm welcome to the Allianz Arena in Munich. And here we have Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm John Champion and providing analysis alongside me is our expert Jim Begley. Yeah, thanks John. What a brilliant atmosphere we've got in this stadium today. I mean, both sets of players must be really looking forward to this, as we are. Thiago Motta. And that's not getting through. It's Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until support arrives a little sooner. And just maybe there he overdid it slightly and should have released it because support was arriving quickly. Sergio Ramos. Marcelo. Pumps it upfield. Bale. Benzema. Bale. He's not taking any risks there. Marco Verratti. Beautiful through ball over the top. He's tried the lob. Oh, brilliant. Just brilliant. And if that's a sign of things to come, he could make himself unplayable here. On some occasions, when star players really mean business, the entertainment value rockets, and we could be in for a treat after such a stunning opening. And he could have placed that either side, but he chose to go for the lob, and what a good decision. And he makes absolutely no mistake. And how critical might that be for Real Madrid? He'd love to play against defenders as charitable as that every week. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier for Bale. They kick off with parity restored. Yeah, in a game like this, every chance is vital, but they're back on level terms. Lifts it through. It's played into space. Well, that was a really awkward one for the goalkeeper to deal with. Here's Ibrahimovic. It's Levetsi. Sends the ball over the defence. And it's gone out for a goal kick. Isco. He's going on his own. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Real Madrid have scored. How about that? Real Madrid now up by a goal. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Great footwork. Marco Verratti. Here is Cavani. It's Levetsi. Chipped over the defence. Ibrahimovic. Tremendous from Ibrahimovic. Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. It was all down to the control. They're back level again. Yeah, we thought that this one would be close between two strong sides like this, and I think that just goes to prove it. Ibrahimovic, he was well positioned, good defending there. 15 minutes to go until the half-time whistle. Marco Verratti, Modric, the opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept, the ball's with Ibrahimovic, he's looking to play it into the channel, Levetsi, and they escape imminent danger.
Isco. Bale, who's just added his name to the score sheet. Thiago Motta. It's Ibrahimovic. Tries to slide it past the defence. Tony Cruz. Benzema. Tried to play it through. Ronaldo. The linesman's kept his flag down. Now a chance for a cross. Ronaldo. Real Madrid have scored. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. They now lead by one goal. The ball threaded through. He's onside. Ronaldo. And it's taken with some style. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footed, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. He'll be taking the match ball home. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. So we resume and the gap is now two. And with that, the referee brings the first half to a close. So there's a two-goal margin here, but a remarkable contest. Paris Saint-Germain get the second half going. Ibrahimovic. Tony Cruz. This goes for a throw-in. It's Matuidi. Through it goes, Cavani, he's onside here, heads it, great build-up, busy about the outcome. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence, was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode, it should have been much worse. Well, you can sense they're really going for it now, this is gung-ho and only a goal will do for them. Isco, Bale, an important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Here is Cavani, bursting forward. Modric, it's through. Ronaldo. Maxwell. Thiago Motta. It's Lucas Moura. Ibrahimovic. Looking to exploit the space. And the cross dealt with. Ronaldo. A oh, good interception, just what they needed. We played for an hour now. Cavani. Isco. Here's Ibrahimovic. Ronaldo. And now there's a platform for a counter attack. Thiago Silva. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Thiago Motta. Real Madrid yet to make a substitution here. Intercepts the pass. Off he goes.
Real Madrid were very fortunate to get away with that there. The ball goes through. He made a decent run towards the box, but he was thwarted in the end. And a much needed intervention that was too. Pepe. Ibrahimovic couldn't quite get it through that. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. The ball played down the middle. Surely he's in. Fail. There it is. They lead by three, and that may just about be that. No doubt about that one, a finish out of the top draw. Well, once upon a time I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days and we've just seen it again. Story. A long ball into space. The keeper's got it. It's Ronaldo. Neat ball through the middle. Where's the defence? Almost made it six for the day. Looking to whip one in. Bale! Marcelo. Pass cut out. Here's Lucas Moura. Marcelo. A long ball forward. And now Ronaldo. Good ball right down the middle. Here's a shot. Another one. Riveting, ruthless, relentless. In a straight duel like that, there was only going to be one winner. Well, although the keeper looked an imposing figure then, he remained totally unfazed and took the chance with great ease. I think you have to put that one down as an inspired substitution. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Surely they're well and truly out of sight now. Dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Oh, that's neat. Time whistle within sight. The referee blows his whistle. You can, I think, put this down as a tactical victory. They adapted so well to cope with the opposition's changes, even if perhaps along the way they didn't...